Many years ago, I was moving from Los Angeles to New York, and I have this heirloom. It is a cookie jar, shaped like an animal, and I made sure to bring it with me from New York, I'm sorry, from Los Angeles to New York. And I had somebody on my team that I work with, I was like, you're gonna hold it for me because I'm gonna be working, da da da. They're like, yes, I got it, I got it, Tyra, I got it. Uh oh. Put it on an airplane, put it in the overhead compartment. We land in New York City and I take it out into my hands and it is just pulverized. Oh my gosh. And this is the heirloom that, it was a cookie jar that was existing in my family since my grandmother. My mother gave it to me when I bought my first house and I boohooed all the way home from the airport to my New York home. And I call my mom, I'm like, Ma, it's done, it's over. It's over, the cookie jar is gone. And she's like, don't open the bag. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, don't open the bag. Just send it back, ship it back. I shipped it back. My mom took it to a company that can make anything come back to life by piercing, piecing it together, oh even without a photo. Wow. And here's wow. my cookie jar posted what? together. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's true. Oh, back can together. I tell you a story? Yes. When, when I was helping get your kitchen together, that was in one of the nooks, and Ricky, her assistant, she says, don't touch that cookie jar. <laughs> what do you do? And I was like, this whole cookie jar? He's like, no, there's a whole story behind it. And I am so happy oh, to see that. That's the story. <laughs>